Hey guys, you're watching Matt the Musketeer, and today I have another catch-up commentary for you. I have a few more questions to put out there, and a few more subjects for you guys to ponder on. Now the gameplay today is Conquest on Operation Metro. Recently, I've really been enjoying playing this game, bringing out the PDWs and using things like the PP2000 and the P90, both of which are in this gameplay, and both of which I hardly ever used in my Battlefield experience before. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Now today I wanted to talk to you guys about a subject that was brought up to me quite recently when a friend of mine who've never played Battlefield before started playing Battlefield 3. And he was asking me, you know, what is it that makes a good Battlefield player? What should I do to try and improve being a Battlefield player? And I actually found that quite a hard question to answer. And then the more I thought about it, I thought this was quite an interesting subject. Now, the reason I say this is, for example, with Call of Duty, if someone said, you know, what makes a good Call of Duty player? It's quite a simple question to answer. People would probably say your kill to death ratio, or maybe your kind of accuracy percentage, because Call of Duty is all about just getting those kills and getting as least deaths as possible. So with Battlefield, it's a lot more complicated than that. I think there's quite a lot of different aspects to Battlefield that can make you a good player. Now, what also makes this a difficult question is that Battlefield itself has changed up its own perception of what a good player is. Now, an example of this, with Bad Company 2, the previous Battlefield to Battlefield 3, was during a game on the in-game menu showing all the players in the match, it never actually showed you anybody else's kill-death ratio, or amount of times they died, or even the amount of times they had made kills. All it showed you was the amount of points they had gathered during the game. And even after the game, in the list showing the final scores, it still didn't show you this information. If you wanted to see your own amount of kills and deaths, you then saw that on the following page. So kills and deaths in Bad Company 2 were very much a private issue and they weren't very glorified as they are with Battlefield 3. Since the release of Battlefield 3, all your stats to do with your kill-death ratio is shown in-game and on battle log. You know, so the kind of shift in perception of what was important to a player has changed as Battlefield has progressed. And this kind of shift in the importance of certain stats really does have an effect on us as players. I remember with Bad Company 2 never even knowing what my kill-death ratio was at any point. But with the release of Battlefield 3 and your kill-death ratio being up there on the screen on battle log for all to see, it suddenly became a really important stat that I should try and take care of. And of course, it always brings up the question, well, which of these makes me a better player? Should I have a better score per minute or maybe a more impressive kill-to-death ratio? And of course, the more people you ask, the different answers you will get depending on which of those stats they have more impressive scores on. Now, when people ask me this question, I personally think that a score per minute is more impressive than a kill to death ratio. It also shows you that you're more of a team player if you're doing things like reviving players and putting down ammunition and putting down spawn beacons than just going around maybe as a lone wolf, just killing as many people as possible. But that's just my opinion, guys. I wanna hear from you. Which do you think is more important? Maybe you don't think any of those are important. Maybe you just think having a good time on Battlefield is the most important thing. But I wanted to ask you, what do you think makes a great Battlefield player? When I used to play on PlayStation 3, I was very much caught up with the whole idea of kill to death ratio. And I would try and preserve each life as long as I could and try and go a little bit lone wolf. But since I moved across to PC and had an opportunity to start afresh with my stats, I've always tried to concentrate on my score per minute a little bit more than anything else. But that all said, nowadays, with Battlefield 3 being almost two years old, the whole idea of scores and stats has gone out the window for me, really, and I do find myself just trying to have, you know, as much fun as I possibly can with the game. But all of this leads me on to the bigger question of how would you like to see stats presented with Battlefield 4? As I said earlier, over time, Battlefield itself has seemed to change up its own perception of how a player should be judged. As I said with Bad Company 2, during a game, all you could ever see of an other player's stats is nothing but the amount of points they have earned in the game. And then with Battlefield 3, we saw a real push in the direction of showing off your kill to death ratio. So with Battlefield 4, would you prefer to see a system like Bad Company 2, where a player's prowess of points alone is all that you see? Or maybe you prefer the system with Battlefield 3, where all the information from every player's decision during a game is out there for everyone to see, from kills to deaths to points. Tell me all in the comment section below. I personally think that each individual player should be allowed to make a decision of which stats other players are and are not allowed to see. Meaning that if you pride yourself on your score per minute, then go ahead and show it off. But maybe if you want to hide your kill to death ratio, then fine, go ahead. 
I think the way a player can show themselves off should be just like the real world. If you want to hide certain things and show other things off, then why not? We should be allowed to do it. I think making every player have every piece of information out there to be scrutinized by other people is maybe sometimes a little bit too brutalistic. But hey, these are just my thoughts on the subject. More importantly, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. I want to hear what you think makes a good Battlefield 3 player. Maybe it's just teamwork and maybe it has nothing to do with stats. Maybe you guys disagree with stats completely and just think everyone should chill out and have a good time. I want to hear from all of you in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video guys, please give me a thumbs up and a comment. It does help out a lot. And stay tuned. I am very, very close now to hitting 5,000 subscribers and I have some pretty exciting giveaways to celebrate that coming up pretty soon. So in the meantime guys, stay tuned. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.